Hi everyone, I'm Davy. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a pretty massive thrift haul slash garage sale haul that I am so excited to share with you today. This video is also in collaboration with Rachel at Sweet and Simple Home and her sister Lizzie at Lizzie's House. So go check them out in the description box below or the cards up here because as per usual they will have some great hauls as they normally do. If you're coming over from their channels, I am so happy to have you. I am Davy, do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs, homemaking, and I'm a new mom, so motherhood videos as well. I'd love to have you join my YouTube community. Also, give it a thumbs up for any type of thrifting, garage sailing, you name it, and I hope you give it a like. So I'm going to jump in because, like I said, it's a pretty big haul and I want to get through everything, so let's get started. Alright, my first item I'm going to share with you is this super cute little blue and white pitcher. It was 10 cents at a garage sale and um, it does have a name written on the bottom. I don't know if you can read that or if it'll even focus. And I don't know if this sticker in here is real, the Andrea Sedek, if you can see that. But um, my husband looked it up and it runs for like $10 on eBay and I got it for 10 cents. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, I have been enjoying the blue and white if you saw my $5 Goodwill challenge. So this is a cute little guy, like in comparison to my hand, that's what it is. So really cute. All right, so the next items are four tiles that I got. I don't have any coasters. I thought it might be fun to do a DIY on these tiles. They're just a dark blue and they were free from a garage sale. So I thought if I don't even use them, I can toss them, throw them away, who knows, but free blue tiles for coasters that I don't have, why not? All right, I am in need of a new photo album and this one is kind of fun because you can write beside it. It does say 75 cents on there, but I love bartering and so does my husband. So I did get it for, I wanna say 25 cents because we always just throw things in together and ask for it for a dollar or something. But I'm wanting to keep more memories now that we have a little girl and I thought this was nice. It says, live every moment, laugh every day. So very nice, just sleek little black photo album. All right, this is a rug, and this reminds me of camping when I was younger. My parents would always have these rugs. It's blue, white, brown, just those hints of color. It's pretty massive, um, and it was a dollar from a particular garage sale. I did not ask for anything cheaper. I just thought, why not? I don't mind paying a dollar for a pretty big rug and some of my rugs are just getting worn out. All right, this item is probably my favorite find. Now, if you're a piano player at all or a musician, you've probably seen these before. Um, this reminds me of my grandma and I have my grandma's black piano and this was always on top. I just love the look of it. It is a little dented there, but it was a dollar and it works. And I know the bulbs are still hard to find, but I am going to change out my more modern light to this more vintage antique lamp that I have. Um, I don't know, it's just a good memory to have and I love that I found it at a garage sale for a dollar. So let me know if you've seen these before and if your grandparents or you have this on your piano. All right, this basket was 50 cents. I just like baskets. I'm, I'm kind of a basket nut and it is very dirty. It needs a good washing out, but it's nice and large. It has the handles on the side. It is a little worn out on the bottom but I am in need of transitioning some of my crates out to baskets because my crates have some nails in them and with little kids in the house um, now, I don't really want them to get hurt. So this basket, I'll use it somehow, somewhere in my house and for 50 cents, I couldn't pass it up. Okay, it's not the right season, but isn't this just adorable? These little buttons and the yarn, little Christmas trees. This was not marked, so I asked for it for 50 cents. Of course, they gave it to me for that. So just super cute. It'll be great. I have some pillows I wanted to change out for Christmas time anyways. And I just love the trees, love the pattern. I think it'll be adorable in my Christmas home decor. And it is green in the black, or in the back. So really cute little buttons and yarn on that for the Christmas tree toppers. All right, on to some other items. I found these adorable boots. I have some suede ones that are ankle boots, but these were my size. They say $3 but I asked for them for two, of course. 
I really like the buckle. It's got a slight heel. They are my size. I'm a school teacher if you don't know that. Um, I teach music. So this will be great to wear in the fall, in the winter, in the spring. Okay, it'll be great to wear almost any time on jean days, skirt days, whatever. It just goes really well and it's a dark brown color. I just really like that boot for $2. Okay, here's a few clothing items. This dress is a New York and Company dress and it has the tag on it still and I got it for $3. It is buttoned down, which is great for nursing, and then has like a cinch at the waist with a little tie around the neck, and it's just got like three quarter length sleeves, and it goes about to my knees. It'll be really pretty for some of these summer weddings I have going on, and like I said, it's half buttoned down, so it's really easy for nursing. This next item, <laughs> I was kind of excited about. wasn't sure if I was gonna actually get it or not. It is so vintage. It is a button down tank shirt. Um, and I love the checker, the light blue white, the pockets. It did have a dollar twenty-five on it, and I believe I bit I basically got it for fifty cents because my husband got some books, so we combine it and asked for a dollar for everything. So it is the brand Paris Sports Club. It definitely looks like it is actually from the 80s to me. And it's really cute, adorable. I can tie it on the bottom if I want or just have it buttoned down. I just thought that was a fun find. All right, this little item is not for me. It's for a friend who just had a little baby boy. It is handsome, awesome, and ladies man. I thought she would enjoy that. This was a 50 cents shirt, and I think it'll be great for a little boy to wear. I want more clothing item for myself. This was a dollar, and it is another flowy shirt. It's got a tie in the front. The brand is ANA. Anna? I don't know if that's Kohl's or Target or where that's from. But it is very flowy, loose. It's great for the spring, summer, fall. Again, good for teaching, and I definitely will wear it. So that was a dollar. Okay, my last item I wasn't really sure I was going to get. It is a diaper cloth wipe warmer. A wipe warmer. That's all I need to say. It is the Munchkin brand. It was a dollar and the lady said it worked. She used it and I use cloth diapers. I also want to use cloth wipes. So I think this would be ideal for being here at home. So I, I don't know if it will be good or not, if I will end up thinking it a nuisance, but let me know too if you have any kids or if you had kids and you used a cloth wipe warmer or just a wipe warmer because I think It'll help their little bums. It'd be so cold on their little bums. But let me know if you used it, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Um, maybe something you did differently. Anyways, that was a dollar. I completely forgot about this. We got this whole tote for $5. The tote included with a timer for Christmas lights. This massive bulk of Christmas lights. Um, what else? I don't even know what else is in here. My husband grabbed it with some large Christmas lights. So, oh my goodness, that was a steal. I mean, even just for the tote, I am totally great with spending $5. And it is just awesome. It's in our garage. So that's kind of why I forgot about it. But hey, a bonus, $5 for all that. Yay. Well, that is everything. I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed finding all these items. My husband and I, like I said, love to go out garage sailing together. And it's just so fun um, to go with him and our little girl and hit up some garage sales. Anyways, let's uh, make sure you check out the other ladies and their yard sale hauls. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, like I said, I'd love to have you subscribe and give it a like. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day, and I will talk with you in my next video.